Hi, this is John Burke, CTO at Numertis, here with the top reasons you need to get some help finding, managing, and optimizing your cloud use. Reason one, of course, is that you don't know what folks are using to get their work done. And, you know, this isn't brand new territory for IT. We've, we've been through this multiple times, at least since the PC became standard equipment back in the 80s. By the 2000s, IT had kind of gotten its arms around the problem, had the tools it needed, if not always leadership support or the institutional will, to lock desktops down and really control critical functions just in time for the rise of cloud, or perhaps creating a major driver for the rise of cloud. Anyway, we're, we're having fun now taking another spin on that particular wheel, and it, it's just bad form not to know how your business does business. And uh, that leaves you vulnerable to outages and to misplaced data and all sorts of other issues that knowing what's going on can get you past or get you through or get you around. Second, you don't know whether folks are really using what they're sh what they should be using, you know, the way they should be using it. This is this is subtly different from not knowing what they use. After all, you're using Salesforce as a company or, or Oracle or whatever. Uh, and you see that users, you know, through your, your monitoring of your uh, network traffic, you see that users are going to Salesforce. This particular person in that particular unit going out to Salesforce. Yay. Only maybe not yay. Because sometimes departments or, or business units spin up a separate instance of Salesforce and they use it differently than the rest of the company uses the product because they didn't want to operate within the corporate framework. Uh, they didn't want to have the restrictions or the protections in place that the corporate one did uh, so that they could do things exactly the way they wanted to do it. Maybe they've wound up building out a huge library of custom code behind the scenes to support their unique and precious business processes, but they've done it with no plan, with no standards, let alone institutional standards, and with no documentation. We're still, sometimes it's not departmental, but individual. Maybe Pat and Chris over in sales have spun up an instance of Salesforce all their own. And that, that instance is, is the repository into which they're copying company data in preparation for bailing entirely. If all you can see is that they're going to Salesforce, you don't know and you can't know. Now, a corollary of these Issues is number three on the list that you don't know where all the critical data and function of your enterprise reside. And yeah, that can be a major issue because if you don't know it's there, you can't protect it properly uh, in a sense of security. You can't protect it properly in a sense of continuity or availability. Uh, so, I mean, I remember the first time I found an invisible but critical server when I was uh, doing IT in the early 2000s. And it turned out that it was under the raised floor in the data center. And no one still working at the organization remembered who had put it there or why they had put it there. Although luckily somebody did remember what it actually did. But the point was critical institutional functionality running in a place nobody knew existed and nobody had visibility into basically only discovered by accident. If this is about your critical institutional data, if this is about your critical institutional functionality, your workflows, et cetera, that's a bad thing and not a blind spot that you should support long-term. And lastly, if you don't know all the rest of this stuff, you don't know where the money is going. Now, it's always been an issue to know exactly what's going on under the covers of the, the big applications that run the organization. I mean, 20 years ago, if you had a great big Lotus Notes installation, yes, it was still Lotus Notes at that time, uh, you might have departments creating tens of thousands of small databases and workflows and such, and they might agree with each other and they might link up with each other and they might not. But at the very least, you knew where it all was, and you knew how much you had to pay to Lotus to keep it going. If you don't know which applications your users are using, let alone how they're using them, when they're out in the cloud, you don't know how much money your organization 
is expending on its critical IT functionality. And that is a terrible position to be in both in an accounting sense, where is that money going? And in a planning sense, where should that money be going? Where should we be focusing our resources? If you don't know where you're spending it now, it's hard to know how much you've got available to spend going forward. And those are our top four reasons why you need to find some help managing and optimizing your use of cloud.